Jackson. Facts. 
The deal was announced at 50 million. All right, well, I think if you're looking at anything out there with the market, anybody in the market, you can certainly see that it's taken a tumble. Um, a lot of those uh, tumbles are from real estate stocks out there. And uh, some investors are looking to make some really, really big changes. Uh, for instance, a real Realty announced a big name change to anywhere. Um, yeah, uh, and, and this has given other investors ideas of how name changes could be a way to go. And I have been sent a few of them, right? So obviously we have Compass um, having some tough times and there's a, an investor kind of group that's looking to change it to nowhere. <laughs> Anywhere, nowhere. Redfin, um, you know, uh, a darling out there that you can super uh, space for their uh, mobile app is uh, again, their investors are looking for something a little bit more descriptive. They've turned it to maybe red ink. <laughs> oh, no. right, we're getting there. We're getting there. And Zillow. Uh, <clears throat> Zillow's had some tough times in the stock market. So I, I think in, in the spirit of me making little animations going, I think we found something we can do here. And I think this works. <laughs> but let's not forget Open Door, right? I mean, Open Door has had uh, a rough ride here, and I think uh, a lot of investors think it should be closed. <laughs> okay, here we go. CoStar Group. Uh, since their breakup with the BPP, CoStar is thought a lot about changing their brand, their slogans, and things like that. And I think uh, they took their famous slogan, you're listing your lead, and modified it just a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, we're just getting started now. <laughs> um, and then, you know, on the same thing, speaking of logos, uh, Rumor has it that Zillow spent close to a million dollars coming up with the name of their new umbrella brand, Showtime Plus. <laughs> right? But the crack team at Industry Update were sent other secret logo considerations that were considered. Right? I've got a few of them here I thought I'd share. There was Showtime Ultra. Uh, this was, I guess, looking for a new Apple Watch 5. There was Showtime Prime. And of course, Showing time maps. <laughs> so I guess that's what the, uh, that's what a million dollars would you uh, in this case. It's, it's really innovative stuff. In other news, um, another thing that was, that recently uh, kind of hit the wire was that uh, the FTC had slapped open door with assisting the system with fine for misleading sellers. Um, and they saying that they weren't going to be able to, they were going to be able to sell their home for more to open door than on the open market. And then just recently, uh, Open Door is selling homes at a loss. So the question I have for the FTC is, when does Open Door get their money back? <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay. New hires. Um, well, the in the, uh, also here at Industry Update, we want to keep you updated on the new hires in the industry. Um, Co-star group, it seems, have new plans, of course, since their breakup, um, and they've hired a new industry relations rep. <laughs> Adam Elector, you might recognize him. I'm sure we'll meet him in Orlando, and just one word of advice, don't order the fava beans. Uh, I also want to follow up on some previous uh, industry update news. Um, we can't have an industry update without uh, mentioning this is a very hair thing. But we did it! We did it! We funded it! We got it there! Woo! Woo! All right, and well, I just want to wrap up with a new product announcement. Um, there's a, uh, did you hear there's a recent new dating app launched for organized real estate? And this, in the settings you can mark if you want a long-term relationship, a one-night stand, it's, you know, it made it easy to put a, you know, your 
your room number there. And there's even a place uh, uh, for checking up road booty. Right? And uh, this new app is called Commingle. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.